You didn't want to program anything else. <laughs> really? We already fought a gate. The effort just just died again. Yep. It's just the same spot too. They didn't even change the locations. It's literally the same work point, and they just changed the enemy spawns. That's all they did. Like, make it a different spot at least. Come on. This is such a cool concept, and you just shot it dead. The, the Shirley and Sennel fight was the only fight we needed to do here. This, I am literally just mashing X. This is pointless. This is taking no strategy. All it's doing is wasting time. This is not exciting. This is doing nothing. It's all filler. It is all filler. I don't even really have anything to comment on because it's just filler. I could literally keep pressing X. I'm, I'm on a wired controller, but I could literally, like, if I was on an Xbox One controller that was Bluetooth, I could literally step away from the mic right now, keep pressing X, and go get a muffin. I have not pressed any other button. My left hand is not even on the controller right now. I could get up if I wasn't wired in and go get a snack. And nothing would change. Oh, a Thunderblade. Whoa, you took like 50 damage off. Like that one dragon quest meme with the slime. It hurts, right? Like, 1 HP? And again, it put a fight that was actually tough. And it gave us no way of saving. That means if, if some reason um, I did fall to it, I'd have to do all of these bosses, that includes getting the second form of Sacred Heiress, all over again. All of it. They didn't put a save point. There was a save in here before the six fights. Okay, good. Still. <laughs> I don't want to do Shirley and Semmel again. So I made a save state. Something burning. Oh gosh, yes, the most fearsome of opponents. One of the first enemies we fight in the whole game. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if the Nintendo Switch has added, like, save states into games for retro games, I don't think they should be counted as an illegal move in a playthrough anymore, if consoles now add them. Oh yeah, it's so, oh, so difficult. Ooh. Pizza. <laughs> Stone Freeze Lancer. Oh, 
There is literally no point to this, what? Are you just making me go through enemy types just because? There was no need either, this is at the- This was at the end of the game. There was no need to pad it any further. This game has actually taken me longer than it took me to complete Kingdom Hearts. It has taken me already twice as long to complete Tales of Legendia as it has to take me to complete Kingdom Hearts 2. Padding was completely unnecessary. You could have just, like, warped me straight to Schwartz, and I would have been good. Oh, goody, another gate. You didn't even mix it up. This is just another freaking gate, and all gates have the same attack patterns. You could have at least given me a dragon. <laughs> really? We have more enemy types, and you gave me a gate. You already gave me a gate. Gate is just a sponge. Time to mash X again. Admittedly, this one does do a little bit more damage, so I guess, you know, every two minutes of X pressing, I can do one press of L2 and get a heal. Yay. Speaking of Kingdom Hearts, I think you push Kingdom Hearts X and Kingdom Hearts less often in a row. In comparison to this. At least you get a triangle button in there every once in a while. There's literally no point to this. Is it making sure you're like high enough leveled or something? A regular dungeon can do that just fine, and also who cares? If you're not strong enough to defeat her, you'd know, you'd get a game over, you'd go, you level up, you come back. RPG 101, people. It's like RPG 101 from the 1980s. What are we doing right now? <laughs> Oh yay, silence on an enemy that does not cast spells. What is this meant to do? Make my wrist tired? Because that's literally all it's doing. That's about it. I know I sound bitter, but... I don't know what to say to this. I would have preferred a puzzle. I would have preferred one final puzzle to this. Make it the most challenging one you've got. Make me get stuck in it for 40 minutes. I'd prefer it. Six of these, right? Miguel, I had a hopper. Now I have a gate, so that makes three.
Halfway there. This is not exciting. <laughs> With another two shadow into an infinite loop. God, I hope not. You know, at least when Hollow Knight did it, it was funny. Because it was meant to be a joke. And you were capable of ending the ordeal, so... Yeah! <sighs> Three... Place your bets. I'm guessing a giant. Oh, now I get a dragon. Same one. These are reskins, by the way. These are the same skins that were already in the game. They aren't even new skins. They're old skins. This is the dragon from Vakalov's Fortress on the bridge. The last gate was the gate from uh, the Mighty One. We had like the California new problem, bro. Ac accent. This one does, I guess, a little bit more damage. I don't know if I like it more or less because of it. Because it's just a waste of time. I, I don't feel any accomplishment with this. Shirley and Sentinel maybe, but Shirley and Sentinel should have been the only fight. You could have made them the only fight in here, and it would have actually kept the pacing. Again. Editor. Get one. I guess it's a little late now, but... Final Fantasy 1 had a super boss rush like this at the end, and it was less tedious, despite the game being from, like, what, 1989 or something. No kidding, are we gonna fight every boss again? Final Fantasy 1, it's like, fight the four fiends again and have no chance to heal, and it was literally more exciting than this. I did it way faster, too. Heal Chloe, please. Wow, that really tossed me. Something like this shouldn't be here. It should be in the arena. Optional in the arena. That would have been a lot cooler. Like, bosses you've already fought, but now super powered. Win a prize by defeating them all. Like, that would actually be a good spot to put this. Not here, though. Again, editor. Get one. Freeze Lancer! Here, use this! Go, go, go! Any time like, not carry. By all means, feel free to put, like, super-powered monsters and stuff in a dungeon, stuff we haven't seen, or, like, stronger variants, but bleh, this is not it. Especially not with this much HP. Like, I'm level 80 and that it's still doing- oh, shoot. Right out. 
still doing like not enough damage. He's got way too much HP even for this point in the game. Because it's not contributing to anything. This doesn't make the fight more exciting. It just makes it longer. The dynamic is not there. It's there for some of the boss fights. Not this, though. Like, it just got me to use an apple gel, but honestly, it's because I wasn't paying attention. And because, again, I literally been mashing L2, and Norma does not always choose to revive. This should have been dead like three minutes ago. Come on! No, Climax really doesn't really do much. It's kind of like the old Tales games where it does like one big attack, but it's really not like any different than like, one big spell. I almost never use Climaxes in Tales games with the old Tales. I'm really there for show. Um, even if I had better weapons, I'd only be doing like a couple hundred more damage than this, maybe 200 more damage. Woo. Actually decent experience. Warp me to the same exact spot. Like this is a cool concept for like a world. But not well implemented. Crystal Rantula! Literally the first one we ever saw. At the very beginning of the game. Ooh. We excited? Yes. At least this one I have more access to combos, I guess. Yay. Look at that HP. Remember all the bosses fought the main game? They're back. Yep. Again, this would have been really cool for like the battle arena. Kind of like what Final Fantasy X did with its like monster arena. That was really cool. It was also completely optional. It was also better implemented because you got really good stuff. Norma, heal please. Norma. Norma. Thank you, Norma. Not what I asked, Sinel. Oh, yay. I actually get to. Swap it up ever so slightly. Do restraint arms, please. Flame blade. I have no way of making this exciting. 
I just don't. I wonder how many people got here and we're just like, I'm done. <laughs> I don't even care anymore, I'm just done. Kinda like when I did Legend of Spyro. Almost every review I saw of the game was someone saying like, I didn't even finish. I couldn't bring myself to do it. Tales of Legendia or Legend of Spyro? I give no quarter to those in my way. Five. Legendia. Do I use an apple tart? I'll use a pizza. I don't know if it's actually going to give me a big one. An automata. I don't know if I'll remember this part in another couple years anyway. <laughs> These are parts of games your brain usually goes like, yeah, nah. And this was just there, yeah. I kinda like dropped out of the sky. Wakey wakey. It doesn't cast spells. Hey. because knocking it down does no additional damage. My wrist is getting really tired. <laughs> Ever wanted to mash the X button for like an hour straight? Well, I've got a game for you. I'm gonna save state after this too, just in case. <laughs> because no. Noopity noopy noop noop. I wonder if people who reviewed this game actually got to this portion or if they only reviewed the main game. Because they got to the ending, didn't know there was going to be more, and turned it off. I wouldn't be surprised. Kind of like how most people who review Nier and Nier Automata don't realize that the good stuff is towards the end because Yoko Taro is a troll. Over here. 
closer. That's sort of a game that just takes out dead RS as well on. Icicle Volt! Woot. Woo, we finally defeated all the monsters up to here. I doubt we'll have to fight them again. <laughs> sure. Sure, honey. Sure. <laughs> System, save state, slot one. Warp. 